it's probably easiest to describe the difference between architectural engineering and architecture by describing what the two people do. Uh, if a person wants to build a building, uh, they typically go to an architect. And the architect and the person wanting the building will sit down and decide uh, how much space they need, uh, how the flow of people should work during the building, uh, where you want to separate walls, how many bathrooms you need, where should the fire escapes go. When it comes to whether or not that building can stand up, uh, now we've transitioned from the architect to the architectural engineer. The role of the architectural engineer is to appreciate the vision of the architect but then design a skeleton, a structure of girders and columns and trusses that will meet the architect's vision but allow the building to uh, stand up, uh, to not vibrate too much or deflect too much during normal loads and not collapse and kill people during uh, more significant loads such as earthquakes or typhoons or those sorts of things. So that's really the difference. Uh, some people say, gee, I want to be an architect because I like design. Well, both people design, they just design different things. Many wonder what is the difference between architectural engineering and civil engineering. And it's really a question of depth versus breadth. Uh, architectural engineering, for the most part, is a structures program, and ours is the most intense undergraduate structural engineering program in the country because we cover so much more structural engineering content than anybody else. A civil engineering program, uh, by necessity, teaches a little bit about a lot of things. In a civil engineering program, you'll get a little bit about environmental engineering, a little transportation, a little hydraulics and hydrology, a little soils, a little construction, and a little bit of structures. And so you'll have a broader view of the world, but you won't learn as much about any one thing, and we'll have to make that up in graduate school. There are currently 18 uh, ABET accredited architectural engineering programs in the country, and they are all very, very different. So the question is, what makes the Cal Poly program unique? Well, first of all, we're located in a college of architecture rather than a college of engineering. We have a closer connection with architects uh, as each ARCHE student will take three architecture studios side by side with architecture students taught by architecture faculty. Uh, a second thing that makes us unique, it makes the uh, various architectural engineering programs so different, uh, is that architectural engineering consists uh, officially of structures, electrical systems, mechanical systems, and uh, construction. The accreditation criteria are sufficiently relaxed that an architectural engineering program can choose to uh, cover all these areas equally or choose to focus in depth in one particular area. Uh, many of the programs are very balanced. Uh, some of them in the country will focus more on energy systems or electrical systems. Uh, here at Cal Poly, we have chosen to focus on structural engineering systems. So we uh, provide minimal coverage of electrical mechanical systems, uh, a significant coverage of construction, and then we have this laser-like focus on structural engineering that is unlike any other undergraduate program in the country. It makes us special. Uh, there's a number of things such as practitioners on the faculty, uh, those with uh, a decade worth of experience and their structural engineering license teaching our design classes. A strong connection with industry where we are often going to their conferences, they're coming to us, and we have a very tight connection with the structural design industry, particularly in California. But we still value cl small class sizes. We're not a predominantly research school. We are uh, predominantly undergraduate. 
Therefore, the professors still teach the classes because that's our reason for existing. And we still have small class sizes. A lecture will cap at 35 students. If there's an activity, you'll only see 24 students in class. And for our upper division design labs, which are really the crown jewels of the program, uh, we can find that to 16 students. So you'll find significantly more student-faculty interaction than you will at many other places. Uh, the motto here is learn by doing, and we actually mean it. Uh, in addition to typical lecture classes that you will see at any university, you'll spend a lot of time on the uh, computer designing things, a lot, of times in, a lot of time in the experimental labs, building things, breaking them, and see if they behave like the textbook says they're going to, and a lot of time in our design labs producing construction documents and learning to design buildings at the hands of a master practitioner.